Hello everybody, it's Susie and Katrina again here. We're recording now for week 10 of the Pictures at an Exhibition project, which is very exciting because it means we've got to the Great Gate of Kiev. And next week's the Christmas holidays for yeah. this project. Exactly, <laughs> this, is the, this is the last week of recordings for this term. Um, and in the Great Gate of Kiev, I think we all get to play the tune at some point or other. Um, not necessarily all the way through, some people get it more than others, um, but in this video Katrina's going to play the flute part, obviously, um, and I'm going to play the horn part, the learner parts, um, because the brass and winds are slightly different, um, and we thought that was the best Generally way. speaking, woodwind players stick with me, brass um, players, brass stick, players with stick with me. Okay. Um, in the SEO video here, um, they do it in two chunks, alright? Um, they go from the beginning up to 119 where there's a little comma you'll see just above the bar line there which means that there's a there's a break before the music carries on. There is a similar break at 113, figure 113. So you just need to watch out for that. We'll count in time uh, when they start playing again. That will be 113. There's a little hiatus there. Yeah, you can there. pencil that in if you want. Yeah, Sorry definitely. I didn't put that in the parts. Well, maybe it was me that didn't put it in the parts. <laughs> Who knows? Um, also, this movement, uh, certainly the first section up to 119, is we're counting two minimum beats in the bar. Okay, it's a, there's a C with a line through it, which means we're counting. It's split time, split common time. We're so it's going to go one, one two, two, and if you've one, got crotches, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. two one. Your crotches have a bit of a quavery feel, don't they? They really do. <laughs> um, and then. When they restart at 119, we're counting one, one. semi-brief in the bar, which means it's uh, when you get to, for instance, 120, have you got minims at 120? Yeah. It's going to go da, 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 one. da, one, 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 two, three, four, their whole bar yeah. is counted there. So it moves really quite fast from 119 through to the end, all right? So, um, I'll press play in a second and Gordon will count us in and he counts us in, um, it, he goes one and two and, and those are whole bars he counts there, okay? So we might count over the top so you hear one, two, two, two and that's how we'll be counting our rests for this first section. Can I just give the flute players an early Christmas mm. present? At the end it says Flutes play higher D if you can, and the secret is that you all can, because I'm sure that you can play the G, and that's the finger for G, and if you just take your top finger off and make the ear a bit faster, you'll be able to get that high D. So some that'll be a new note for some people. So that's my early Christmas present to any beginner flute. Is that players. a flute secret you've just given away there? It's it's not a very well kept secret. I have to say you can look it up on the internet or find it in a book. But some, unless you grade two flute, you won't have got that high. So if you're still grade one flute, then that'll be a new note for you. That's quite exciting, yeah. isn't it? Brilliant. Okay, this is really exciting movement. So I hope you enjoy playing it. I'll press play just now and Gordon will count us in. Okay, here we go. One, two, two, two. two. Thank 
going past relatively fast and also um, when we get to one two four and the third bar of one two four we should think in two so from one two four we think one and one and one two one and one and one two four. so we need to just think they're just slightly about the tradition of those bars, which is that they're, they're, they're thought of in a slightly different meter. So this is 119 to the end. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you two bars in, in one. Yeah. Here's one and one. doing what they're going to do there. Well, 
in next term's videos, you'll see me doing what I do there. I actually beat two bars of three and a bar of two. And okay. So <laughs> it, it should be very clear for you, hopefully, um, next term. So this is obviously the last video uh, this term. We, we After this week, you're going to get a break over uh, Christmas and the Can New I just Year. Say, if you're a beginner and a learner and you're watching this and you've kept up with us all the way through from week one to week ten, well done. give yourself a pat on a the back. Absolutely. That's awesome. That's amazing. And if you've just joined in and you're thinking, oh no, I missed some weeks, I don't know what to do, go back on the website. Plenty time to print off your part. And you've basically got till April. You can use those videos that we put up every week mm -hmm. to keep practicing with us on those and with the little crew till April. But we want you all to join in it, with the big orchestra next time. Yeah. So um, in January, approximately when the schools go back, and we I can't remember the exact date in this moment, but don't worry, you won't miss out. If you've already signed up, um, uh, subscribed on the SEO page to this project you'll get a notification of when the term two videos start if you haven't already subscribed then do so now and then you won't miss out and we'll try and make some noise before before they're going to start so you've got a little bit of warning as well um, but those videos have me conducting you rehearsing a, a larger group of SEO players so there are there are brass players and woodwind players and percussionists involved in those rehearsals as well um, and you'll see how it all fits together with a conductor, which hopefully will make your life a little bit easier in places like figure 124. So uh, you can keep practicing these videos though, as Katrina said, and with those ones, particularly the beginner and learner players. We're not yet sure what the regulations are going to be about getting groups of people together again in the new year, though things are looking very hopeful uh, today uh, we're recording this on the 23rd of November. Today there was another announcement about a, a very positive uh, vaccine news from the Oxford vaccine trial. And it looks like maybe vaccines will start to be getting rolled out um, as soon as they've got final approval of something. With lots so it of looks medicine. very it's likely very that hopeful. in Caithness next year we'll we be doing are it. going to have a great big orchestra event. Absolutely. And perhaps that will be happening in other places around Absolutely. the country as well, I think, maybe in Dundee. Yeah. Uh, where's the place? Is it in Suffolk? In Suffolk. That's there's an orchestra that's joining in in Suffolk. There are players joining in in Devon. I know some, uh, somebody, Kirstine Davidson Kelly at the SEO mentioned somebody Very from good. Devon. There are people in Glasgow. Uh, there are people all over the Highlands. I know of people in Skye. We might end up with an enormous orchestra in Caithness. And, and of course, once the restrictions are easing, then hopefully there'll be lots of people Absolutely. able to come to Caithness. Absolutely. Oh, we're, I can't wait to play again in an orchestra. We're, we're, hope, we're aiming for April, I think, for our together face-to-face -to -face orchestra. So we're going to go all the way through next term with our videos, and I hope you will too. The good news for next term's videos is there are wind and brass players. We've got Kameen on the flute, and we've got a lovely horn player as well, yeah, haven't we? We've got all the wind and brass are, are represented, so really worth watching. Definitely. If only to see how those professional wind players sit and the beautiful sounds that they make. Absolutely, absolutely. So, have a safe Christmas, have a happy Christmas and a happy new year and we'll see you all in 2021. Brilliant. Okay, bye. See ya.